to this ID. I've never met anyone quite like her before. Hey everybody, welcome back to Andy Land. It's your girl, Andy. And today, as you can tell by the title, I'm trying out the Juvia's Place new I Am Magic foundation and foundation powder. Um, so uh, if you would like to see my thoughts on these products, obviously, you know, my face came out good because you can see it, you know what I'm saying? But if you would like to see my thoughts on these products individually and how I use them, um, first and foremost, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, and keep watching. All right, y'all, so let's get into it, okay? We about to try these for the first time. Y'all know how I love powders. Um, I'm kind of nervous to try this powder. Um, but first, let me give y'all a little specs on both the foundation and the powder. So this is the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I got the shade 240 Lagos. It's the shade I use in the original foundation, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping because I didn't swatch nothing, so <laughs> I probably should have done that. But um, it's $23. I got mine at Ulta. It comes in 30 different shades, and it's a radiant and luminous foundation. So this is nothing mad about this. Okay. Okay, y'all know I have a problem getting things open, but I got this open. All right. This is what it looks like, and it says shake well, peel off with cap facing downward. So shake that up and then i also have the um powder i magic powder foundation i got this from ulta as well it was 18 dollars. i wanted the shade um right right above this um 10 2 i think it is cabo but they didn't have it they were sold out of a lot of the powders at my ulta so if this is what it looks like it's kind of cute and it's got like a magnet closed um case and then if you lift it up there's some sponge in here um so this this kind of looks a little light but uh if it is i mean i'll just take it back and go get the other one but this is in the shade shade tan three burkina and let's get into it so because it is a luminous radiant foundation i want to use the one size <laughs> mattifying primer um this is a secure the blur primer i like to kind of offset if i know i'm going with a super matte foundation i'm going to use a super dewy primer or a hydrating primer if i know i'm going with something super dewy i'm going to use a mattifying primer my skin is pretty oily so you know we're just going to take this and prime the face All right, Juvia's Place also launched a new sponge, but they were sold out at my hotel and I was not trying to order. So if y'all have tried it, let me know if it's worth going to get. I have a lot of sponges. <laughs> so we are going to go in with the foundation. I'm so nervous. All right, I'm going to take a couple pumps to the back of my hand. I don't know how much of this I need. Hold it upside down. <laughs> Coming out, oh my god. <laughs> Finally got it. Alright. All right, that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna use my Morphe E63 brush to apply this to the face. Match is actually not too bad. Okay. Hmm. That went on pretty nicely. Coverage is definitely there. I like the finish. Okay, let me do the rest of my face. Right, let's, 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 let's dive in here. Okay. 
It's not bad. All right, I'm gonna take my, this is a damp, Oh, that's wet, that's not damp. Let's squeeze some of this out. I'm gonna take a damp Sonia Kashuk sponge, if I can get all this water out, and pat my face. Why was there that much water in my sponge? All right. Okay, let me just pat that in. I kinda wanna just see. I mean, it covered up pretty well. not super mad at it. my skin's doing some weird stuff right now so ignore that but I think it looks good I'm happy all right I'm gonna conceal I'm gonna take um, my Dior backstage concealer and just kind of conceal a little bit set y'all know I need to conceal and do all that extra stuff before I set my face so I might just speed through this whole part until we get to the powder so y'all want to know what products I use I guess I'll put them in the description box but yeah <laughs> Okay, now that it's on, we're gonna take the star of the show, the um, or the Juvie's Place Foundation Powder in the shade Burkina. Hopefully, hopefully, this doesn't turn me ashy. Um, just taking a big fluffy um, Japanese brush, and we're just gonna dab right in here, cause. You guys know I like to go over my whole face with my foundation powder. Wasn't too bad, especially I guess since the foundation was a little darker than me, and then this is a little lighter. It's super blurring, so my skin does look nice and matte and smooth. Some little added coverage. I just definitely put way too much powder on myself just now. But I like it. Y'all know I love me a powder. If there's one thing on my head in stock, there's gonna be some powder. I'll definitely be picking this up again. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then come back with my final thoughts, even though I pretty much said everything, but you know. <laughs> All right guys, so this is my finished face. Um, I just added, you know, the regular blush, um, bronzer, a little bit of lashes, lips, you know, to <laughs> kind of complete the look. And honestly, I actually really like both the foundation and the powder. I thought the powder was gonna be too light, but honestly, I was looking at myself upstairs in the mirror, in the bathroom, you know the bathroom I in. Oh, child, I look good. And my face is actually glowing without feeling Radiant. You know, sometimes you use radiant foundations and it feels like your face is slipping off. It actually, one is super lightweight, but it actually does not feel like super greasy. And I can get with that. Like, I can, I want to look radiant without feeling like a grease ball. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Am I making sense? Um, it, but so far, it blended well. It So far, it blended well with all the other products that I normally use, which is always a plus for me when trying new things. I wanna make sure that they can integrate into my routine that I already had. And I mean, 
happy days because y'all know I look good. Okay, so um, foundation and the powder. They get a thumbs up for me. Um, let me know if you've tried them. Let me know what your thoughts are on this launch. But I feel like Jiffy's Place, they did that. I can't even, I'm not even going front. They did that. And yes, I bought these with my own money. This is not a sponsored thing. So, huh. anyway, if you like this video, please make sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.